I would like you to take a moment and think about what you had for breakfast today. What do you really know about the food which you had on your plate? Where it was produced, how it was produced, how long it traveled before you bought it? Um, the fact is, we know very little about the food that we eat. Food can be very beneficial to our health or very harmful. If we eat food with pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, they can really do us harm. You know that uh, on average, food like vegetables, fruits, leafy greens travel over thousands of kilometers, and in some cases, being stored for months. By the time we eat this food, it has really little nutrient value. Can you imagine a world when food is being produced next door to you? When uh, food on your plate is being harvested within hours, not days or months? Can you imagine that you know everything about a farmer who is producing this food for you? And this farmer is using sustainable agricultural methods to grow this food. And this food is extremely delicious, fresh and healthy. This is a happy farmer who's growing this food for you in the future. And as you may see, it's local and fresh, and he doesn't have to use this expensive tractor. Uh, let me tell you about our project. Um, I'm Maxim Telish. Um, I was born in Moscow, Russia, and I came to Krakow after many years in the United States. I'm co-founder of Urbanico Farms. It's an indoor vertical farming company. We are located here in Krakow on campus of Agricultural University. We are, we are a hybrid company. We are urban farmers and technology developers. We uh, have, in our team, we have plant scientists, software developers, and automation engineers. Uh, we grow our food indoors using artificial lights and uh, we grow it on, on these racks vertically. So when we grow our food, it's completely clean because we don't use soil and we use clean rooms. So we don't have any pesticides or we don't use any fungicides. We use controlled environment. That means uh, climate where our plants grow is almost optimized. And it's always e efficient to grow the plants. Um, you know, tra traditional farming is seasonal. Uh, and uh, it's always exposed to diverse climate conditions. And of course, pesticides can destroy crops. Uh, we don't have this problem. We can grow our food year-round. We harvest our food within hours before we supply it to our clients. And we always harvest it and pick flavor. You know, some critics say that uh, sunlight is the be best option for plants. We grow our plants under horticultural LED lights. In the past years, those lights became more and more efficient. That means they use less electricity and they produce more biomass for our plants. Also, we uh, use our lights at nighttime when tariffs for electricity are very low. In combination with renewable electricity being more efficient and electricity storage being costs are going down, we can make a point to our critics that virtual uh, vertical farming is effective. Uh, we can grow uh, many different crops in our farm. Our growing module is 20 square meters footprint. We can grow over one ton of leafy greens per month. It's a big number. Of course, uh, it doesn't make sense to grow every single crop using our technology. If you look at this graph, you can see that uh, 
growing fruit, uh, fruit trees is going to be very hard to do. They're very tall, they have very long root system, and they're growing for ages. Of course, we can grow potatoes uh, in the hydroponical way, uh, but it's not economically viable, even though it tastes fantastic. Um, by the way, uh, if you uh, heard CEO of SpaceX telling us that one day we as humankind may end up on Mars, we'll have to be able to grow many crops using these technologies. Uh, and when David Bowie sang a song about life on Mars, I never thought I'll be here in Krakow developing this technology and make this beautiful dream come true one day. By the way, NASA is already experimenting growing lettuce in space. And we have many exciting dreams, and we're working toward them. In the future, we want to build a network of farms which will be connected with cloud database. We want to be uh, local producers around the world using this technology. We will be able to replicate our, uh, our optimal environment in any farm around the world. Also, we'll be able to recreate any climate in our farms. For example, in the we can recreate Tuscany summer in the middle of winter in Stockholm, for example. Or we can build multi-climate farms as well. Uh, we can uh, create a plant recipe, upload it on the cloud, and share with all the farms within our network. And you won't have any previous knowledge in agriculture to be able to grow our, our produce. Uh, this is the future, but let me talk about the present day. Uh, you know, you met many entrepreneurs who are talk, talking about their dreams, and we have our vision, but today we are already selling this food here in Krakow. And we sell to many different restaurants, shops, and wholesalers. And they say our food tastes fantastic. But you don't have to believe them. We brought some samples today. So you can taste it for the first time in your life, food grown in, in indoor vertical farms. Uh, this is our team. You can see this uh, on the left. It's Marlena and Edita. They, they are our stars of our team. And this is Michael on the left. He's my business partner and my friend. Without them, that wouldn't be able to happen. Um, can you, uh, my dream is that our technology made in Krakow farms will be spread across Poland, Europe, and the world. And maybe one day you can become a farmer using our technology. And this day is worth life living. Thank you very much. Thank you.